how the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Rise SMP today. We have some upgrading plans to do and um, I know in the past couple of episodes I've been trying to focus on getting this, these villagers up and ready. But they honestly are just not working. I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't know why they're not breeding. Like the new 1.8 mechanics for breeding is really weird. And um, as you guys can see, I have like six of them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven in here, actually. So I have seven um, villagers in here. But they're supposed to be automatically, like, I have one farmer somewhere in here. I think that's the guy right there. I think that's the farmer. He's supposed to be planting and unplanting these uh, these plants that I have here. And which makes it so that he can split it with the rest of his group. And then they'll be breeding automatically, which is what it's supposed to be doing. But I think that the 1.8 snapshot is like a little bit bugged. So I'm kind of just waiting for those villagers to actually um, be fixed. And uh, for the snapshot to be fixed on the next update, hopefully. And uh, till then, we're going to just keep on going with our series. And we're just going to keep on building. So um, for today's episode, I want to upgrade my my wheat farms. I want to make it look a lot cleaner, a lot more efficient, and I also want to uh, make it bl like block it off with walls in order in order to to make it to make sure that none of the none of the creepers or anything like come inside and blow up all my crops and then I have to rebuild everything. So I'm gonna light up. I have, I have a couple of torches here. Let's put all of that in my uh, hot bar. And um, as you guys can see, I started this one a little bit earlier. So this is a perfect plot, and a perfect plot means that. If the, if the water is in the center, um, basically it it reaches out uh, four directions, like diagonally and also horizontally and vertically. So this is one, two, three, four, and that's the max that it can reach. And then even more importantly, diagonally, one, two, three, four. So as you guys can see, th this is a perfect right here. This is a perfect chunk, not really a chunk, but like half a chunk of, um, of farmable plot land. So what I want to do... Is, oops, I stepped on that. Okay, so I want to make like four, uh, two more of these. So like there's one, there's two. I want to make another one here to the side. So three, and then maybe another one over here, four. So I want to make it nice and perfect. And then I want to block it all off uh, with uh, with cobblestone walls. So um, I haven't really made cobblestone walls before, like ever, like not even in my faction series. So I want to make some cobblestone walls here in order to see if it'll look good on actual... Uh, if it'll, it'll if it'll function well on this uh, in this type of recording and in, uh, in this rise SMP episode so uh, we're just gonna we're gonna take a second here guys and we're gonna start building the farm so if, if this is the max here I need to go one two three one two three four this should be a water block here if that's four so then let's surround that water block with um, with the dirt like so so one two three four now I gotta count here one two three four there's a perfect square right there and so we're just basically fixing our farms today we're expanding our wheat farm because our our sales for you know what before i continue that let's go let's go take a look at the shop and um i actually took some of the stuff from the shop earlier and then let's let's refill some of my shop items so let's grab this uh, put that in there. Let me grab this raw steak. I don't know why. I guess the system glitches sometimes and it drops me raw steak. But uh, it's not too bad. It doesn't have... Oh, is that an Enderman? Did I see an Enderman right there? Did I just... Am I seeing things? What the... Alright, so let's... Um, excuse my cough. I have a little... I have a stuffy nose right now. And it's lagging. So let's get those. Let's get these. Do I have anything else I need to sell that's extra? I think I have some extra redstone that I could put in the shop for right now because I have a lot of I have a lot of redstone as you guys can see because my fortune three pick and redstone they just like start to pile up basically. And uh, so let me see if I can grab anything else from here that I can sell. Let me grab these potatoes and let me cook these potatoes in here. Why aren't they cooking? Where's the rest of the? Is that it? That is it and uh put grab the stuff put everything away so i'm trying to keep everything as organized as i can as you guys can see um it's one of, it's one of my pride things that i try to keep everything organized to an extent do i have any extra iron ore that i can sell no i do not okay so let's just run on over to my shop let's see if anybody's has bought anything since last night I'm not really sure if anybody has but my shop has been doing pretty well um i've always i'm always getting messages saying that uh oh thanks for uh selling <laughs> Selling the chicken, blah blah blah. So I'm like, oh, cool. So people are actually buying the chicken, and people are actually buying the steak, which is uh, 
probably the the best sellers right now in my shop. Oh, look, there's another. Somebody's making a little cave thingy here. Looks like they're starting out. What is this? Why is this all cleared out? I don't even know. That's either Dylan's or hype, like Hyper Darknesses or Far Few Games' is, uh, system over there. I don't know where they're going with that, but hopefully that turns out really nice. So we really need to fix our nether hub. So we might actually take an episode, even if we're not the main builders of the server, we'll take an episode and um, help them out with the nether hub. Make it look a lot nicer. So that'll be an episode in the near future if I... Uh, if I if I finish my farms and if my villagers are still not a hundred percent fully fixed, oh god, this creeper scares me. Uh, okay, good. Whew. So let's check here. Let's see if we have any payments. So I did clear out the chest yesterday uh, off of camera, so that's probably why I have no payments right now. I haven't seen anybody yet on all day. So let's uh, refill these uh, cooked chicken. I have a couple of stacks of cooked chicken there. Very nice. So cook steak. There's a lot of steak. A lot of people are buying these. So I'm selling 16 steak for 10 iron ingots, which is a really, really good deal. Thinking about like just how the hunger goes down so frequently here on a, on the 1.8 servers, it's really it's really a good deal for ingots because it's really it sh it should be really easy to find um to find iron ingots w whenever you're strip mining or even when you're just caving looking for different stuff. So yeah, let's. The, the, my shop is doing really well, guys. Thank you guys for all the ideas on what you guys are uh, making or suggesting that I sell in that shop to make my uh, business business successful. So um, it's probably going to be mainly, as I said, it's going to be mainly a food shop for the moment because that's probably the one main thing that we're being uh, sold right now. So let's climb up these stairs. I might want to slab up these stairs a little bit because there are still stuff spawning on them. And I'm not sure if I'll do that off camera or if I'll do that in the middle of like the building the nether hub sort of thing. So we'll kind of do that in the next in the next couple of episodes. We'll kind of see where we, we go from here. But let me grab more of the seeds because I'm going to need more seeds. I have stacks and stacks of seeds. Holy crap. And then let us go to here. And we're going to continue our farm. So we're going to have... I'm going to make this like a one, two, three. I'm going to make four of them here. So this should be fine. So there's one diagonal, one, two, three, four. There's a perfect, another perfect circle there. And then, uh oh, this one's going to be a little harder. One, two, three, oh, four. There we go. And it looks like, wait, is this carry? One, two, three, four. Oh, I want five. That was my mistake. Oopsies. So that's the max that that should be able to reach. And then all I got to do is go this way, fill in these holes, and I should be good to go for this one plot. As you guys can see, it's fairly simple, fairly, very, very simple, actually, to make these types of farms. It's not, it doesn't take too much effort. Um, it just takes the main materials like dirt and whatnot. But, you know, everybody gets dirt easily, so there's no point in uh, delaying the farm. And if, if we make this farm really big, and then once those villagers finally work, it'll pay off in the end, guys. It'll pay off in the end, and uh, we'll be able to basically um, use this farm and then automatically. And since it's automatic, it will we'll be able to <clears throat> one, two, three, four. We'll be able to just up our sales exponentially if we're able to complete this farm very well. So I'm aware that there's a bunch of water below the blocks, but I'm not really taking that into account because I want to go for the look aspect of the the symmetrical look of having a farm like this. So if you guys are probably wondering like, wow, there's water underneath and I, I'm aware that there's water underneath. I just like, I just like everything looking a lot like really, really symmetrical, even if there's just like a one water block in the middle. So that's, I don't know. That's just my preference on things. And that's just how I'm going to keep it because I like it. And um, as you guys can see, you guys might have noticed I, I switched all of the nether brick um, in my house or all the cobblestone in my house a majority of it's in nether brick and I'm, I'm gonna still be collecting that off of camera because that does take a while and it's really really scary I got another death yesterday. I'm at three now. I'm not even sure if I mentioned that in the last recording I don't remember but I'm at three deaths now and all of them every single one of my deaths every single one literally a hundred percent of my deaths have been in the nether like something nether related i was either collecting nether brick i was making my nether hub all of have all of my deaths have simply been in the nether it's just the nether is not um a happy place for me when you ask when you ask dfield about the nether because it's just it just brings bad memories of my first my very first death was was brutal i just i just hated it it was it was terrible 
and uh, I just screamed so hard when I when I first fell and died and I was like whatever you know what we're gonna just move on so uh, I'm actually just gonna leave this it looks like the nice the four plotted farms here look really really nice so I'm just gonna keep it four plotted right now and then we can always expand later but I would really do want to uh, block these off because during the middle of the night since these are wheat farms and there's they're basically blocks and there's no light anywhere close by all the creepers just spawn like right on top of it and I've had to rebuild this farm like two or three times and it's just a pain in the butt so you know what creepers we're gonna we're gonna go over here and we're gonna torch up a couple of this this area around here just so you, they stop spawning so let's go up this mountain here just place some random torches so they stop spawning around this area at the least uh, da, 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 da. let's see oh this is just like a small little gravel island I could probably end up cleaning this up and get a bunch of flint and steel for arrows and maybe we'll make an arrow shop. I don't know. Just a bunch of ideas. Um, leave it in the comment section below, guys. You guys have been mentioning a lot of shop ideas, a lot of stuff to do. If you guys know anything about the new 1.8 villagers, like, help me do some research because I, I simply cannot find um, the stuff that, that's making them not spawn or maybe I'm just doing something wrong with my build. Uh, take a look at the past videos and see if I'm building something wrong or if I added something wrong if my room dimensions are wrong I don't even know if that's a thing, but let me know in the comment sections below guys What do you guys want me to do? Um, give me some tips and advice to survival minecraft on 1.8 because as even with all of you you guys are all new with it as well, but um, I like I like being involved with you guys just hope making you feel like you guys are actually helping me because you guys really are helping me you guys told me what to put in my shop and then my shop started to have an insane amount insane insane amounts of business and uh you know what i thank you guys for that and we're just going to continue with the comments i read every single one of these rise comments because you guys do give me the ideas on what you want to see me record so this is well this episode is a little bit more about me i, I just really need to get this uh, farm expanded because my my cow farms my steaks my steak production is just insane and i need to uh i need to kind of up that up that insane value and uh we're basically just seeing what we can do so let us continue here just plant the rest of this and this episode is almost complete wow i just fell through uh doo -doo 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 -doo. and uh, also i'm i'm i know that i've been really really busy building stuff but if you guys have any epic prank ideas like not any pranks that'll hurt somebody or kill somebody but like funny pranks that'll be like a pain in the butt to somebody leave it in the comment sections below and let me know who you want me to prank so we have um there's a lot of people on the on the on the rise smp right now and um, if you guys have a specific person that you want me to prank, let me know in the comment section below, guys. Just be like, hey, D-Field, you should prank blah, 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 and you should do this. So let me know, guys. I, I haven't really had the time to think through some pranks yet because um, the very first person to commit a prank on Rise was Gabe. And he pranked he pranked uh, No Boom, and he, like, covered his entire um, house with, like, glass. And it, he made it look, his house look like a glass dome, like sort of like a, like he was isolating him out or something of that sort. And it looked really funny. So now I was like, wow, I need to do a prank really soon. I have, I have one of the most episodes out there. We need to prank somebody very soon. So we're probably going to do that in the very near future as well. So there is still a lot of plans going on, guys. There's pranks, there's building, there's farms, there's automatic farms, there's businesses, there's business. There's a lot of stuff to do on Rise. And, uh, I'm really, really enjoying this series, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the series too. So take a quick second, guys. Take a quick five seconds right here. If you guys are enjoying the series so far, if you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out via Rise, leave a like button down below, guys. Let me know that you guys are supportive of my series, and of course, as always, um, hit that like button. It just shows that you guys love what is happening on my channel, and you guys have been doing really, really great. My subscribers have been growing like crazy. And um, all of you guys are just to thank for that. And I, re I really, really appreciate what you guys are giving for me. So let's finish up this farm. All we need now is... Um, ooh, look at this zombie. Is this a villager zombie? This is not. You're going to die. So because I have so many villagers here, they basically just keep growing. Oh, I should block this off before a zombie gets in here. So let me just put two, two uh, dirt blocks in there. <clears throat> so let me get uh, I need cobblestone walls and I need a fence so let me make this 
I'm gonna grab that much cobblestone and then I think to make a fence gate I need uh, oak woods and I need some hold on it's lagging I need some oak woods and I need some what's it called oak planks so or oak sticks or sticks whatever you guys call it oh my god I can't even talk there's my fence should I get one I sh I'm gonna make two let's make two fences make it look nice and pretty two fences there we go there's the two fences and I think for cobblestone wall it's just a uh, two by three yeah there we go six cobblestone wall they're really nice there we go nice and easy quick and easy to make these cobblestone walls and they look amazing I've seen Jack's farms with these on and uh, simply they just look really really nice and I like I like the the feeling of oh my god this is zombie I like the feeling of cobblestone walls and it just looks makes everything look a lot lot nicer so as you guys can see way over there there's a bunch of zombies spawning so I need to place torches over there but let's place this cobblestone wall down so let's grab this I'm gonna you know what let's let's do something a little bit ah uh, no never mind I'll do that later I don't know even know if I want to do that yet so I'm not gonna jump the gun with that and then I'm gonna put my fence posts right here uh, right in the middle actually where's the middle right here is this the middle let's just put that there and then put that down let's eat a steak while our hunger is free and going fast as a mother there we go and finish off these fence posts I'm gonna break this just so it doesn't connect and it just looks a lot nicer when it doesn't connect to the wall like that and then once I break that let me put a torch here and then bam 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 we break this oops I'm gonna break that again and I need to expand this by one so what should I make this out of should I just do dirt no I'll do uh, cobblestone I guess grab cobblestone and make a cobblestone layer let's make everything around this cobblestone so it'll 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 blend in it should blend in really nicely right i think hopefully i might de my designer skills are not the best i'm not the best builder around because uh i'm not, i don't like i don't i'm not too creative when it comes to building houses but i try i mean i try i try to get a, a bunch of ideas off of you guys off of the google off of uh, past builds that i've seen so hopefully it turns out well. I mean, I try to make everything look as nice as possible to the best of my abilities. And you know what? That's all that matters. All right, here we go. Went all the way around. And now all we got to do is place the fences. And we should be able to lock this uh, lock this cage in. Wow, what a fail placement. So those zombies are making their way. This is what I'm talking about. So those, those zombies sometimes are like creepers. And then all of a sudden the creepers are inside my my fence my fence is over here and then I can't do anything to stop them and then if I don't kill them the right way then all of a sudden they blow up in my face and then I'm just crying because I lost half of my crops to freaking creepers so there we go we finally blocked everything off and uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, torch this this area up a little bit even can I put torches on top of this oh I can oh that's so cool so let's make a design let's see how many this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty is that twenty i think so let's just put uh these every three one two 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 three oh it's off all right i don't think i can do three let's try two one 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 two oh it's off by one block oh that looks really ugly whatever this will just be like this i guess i'm gonna put it here all right nobody will notice unless they look at it really carefully <laughs> one two one two one two one two all these torches just look it, look, it look, it actually looks really, really nice. So there's only a couple of corners, like a couple of those corners will be off by a little bit. And I need to, I need to remember to stop jumping. I keep jumping up and down <laughs> on the flower crops and I'm trampling all of my crops. So, uh, I read in somebody else's videos, comment sections, they were like, you should prank with, uh, trampling people's crops. And if they did that, oh my God, that'd just be so unfair. One, two, one, two, one, two. So this wall looks perfect. You guys can see and there we go we have our farm built guys it looks nice and beautiful i might want to uh fix up this walkway i have here because it does look kind of weird and uh, i'll fix that soon don't worry 
turn this into Kabul right now. But yeah, this is it for today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any ideas, whether it be pranks or if you guys know why my villager system isn't working, let me know in the comments sections below, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. This is D-Field. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys later.